So if we look into banking in 20 and 30 years, will the future bank be populated mainly by humans or by robots? And when I say populated, it's the users. And the reality is probably that we're going to have much more robots doing banking in the future than people. I think naturally we need to attract these users and retain them with the Cardano ecosystem, which is going to be hard uh, because 1 billion is quite a lot. And we are an infrastructure. We're not a front end tool, right? We are, we're sitting in the back. And this is why I think a huge part of our focus is on building relationships with national governments, especially in, in uh, emerging economies, where Cardano's technology can be used to build and maintain financial and social operating system for millions of people, endorsed and supported by regulators and government agencies. And this is where sometimes I end up in some deep discussions because in many ways we are talking about, you know, blockchain should allow us to run countries without governments. And I'm just probably a little bit more the realistic guy. I'm saying, you know, how development is going right now. I'll be super happy if we can upgrade the infrastructure in the governments that they can achieve more, they can work for the people, that we can actually get real progress and we can start solving some big problems. And by doing that, I think we will get a lot more people users, but also robot users, so process users into Cardano. I think for the Cardano Foundation, which is incorporated, we should really be focusing on how do we de-risk um, enterprises and governments from building on third generation blockchain infrastructure such as Cardano. And uh, that's a part of, let's say, our role to ensure that we will get a billion users in the future, right? Uh, but in the end, it's not going to come only by the foundation's work. We're just going to play a part of that. We're going to augment, initiate, maybe pave a part of that, but our community and the first enterprises who's building, which is, as you know, already a building, but also the first government who's already approaching us now, and, uh, and like what they see in the engine room, uh, they're going to pave the way forward. So it's not going to be an, it's not going to be like a nice convex curve. It's more likely going to be like a very uh, you know like an L shape where you have multiple L's. As you see, you know somebody comes with a large adoption and then they see that works and then you you kind of get bigger and bigger.